Blake, yesterday after the Kevin BX news broke that he's going to retire as a Vancouver Canucks sign the one-day contract, we asked them on Twitter, who would you like to see sign a one-day contract next so they can retire as a Vancouver Canuck? Got a bunch of submissions here from the readers, listeners. Probably all of them wrong. Well, because so you I know st- my feelings on this. I'm in the Jeff Patterson uh, camp here of no one day deals, but tell me what happened. Well, so I sort of interpreted it as guys who have not yet retired because typically this happens when somebody hasn't actually filed the retirement paperwork. The listeners did not exactly define they it took as, some license. well, they took some license, okay. so let's get on. Uh, we'll start with Colin in planning, a regular listener, and and he got my guy. I was going to say Alexander Edler if he winds up uh, playing this final year with the LA Kings. Uh, Colin said Edler and Tanev together, they may be on different timelines, but they seem most likely and are still active. So that was sort of my thought, that if Tanev retires some, in Calgary or somewhere else, or yeah. Edler in LA somewhere else, that they would come back and do both, I think, worthy. Those two fit the bill. And like, again, if you subscribe to these things happening, then yes, those two guys fit the Uh, bill. Elijah says, recent history, Alex Burroughs bar none. It was a shame he retired as a senator in 2018. But here's the thing. He's in the ring of honor. They have brought him back. Yes. And and faded him at Rogers Arena. He says, near past history, Gino retiring as a Canadian 2003 is sacrilegious. I mean, he is a... He was, you know, he grew up in Quebec, Quebecer, but played for the Habs, was beloved there as well. But I get it, more identified as a Canuck. And he says, historically, Richard Berger, where he only played six games for the Hartford Whalers after being traded. Now, again, I imagine King Richard has filed his retirement paper. Too deep. Uh, We have a a number here who uh, say Ryan Kessler. Too deep. Now, I know some people have strong feelings about Kessler one way or the other. No, but just this is long ago. What this is long talking ago. about too deep. What's too deep mean? Too long ago. Even BX is flirting with too long ago as he what played his last game. What are you talking about? It's a few years ago. Right. So he How must, short is your timeline here? Well, you have no timeline. 18 months, you two have years. no timeline because you just don't believe in the exercise 18 months to begin two with. Years. Okay. Now on to some replies that maybe you can get behind, Blake. Baz on Twitter says, "No one. It's lame and needless." What's this about, really? Thanks for playing for us, and now you don't anymore for a long time already, but thanks, man. Let's get some guys over from the past. You can get some guys over without this retirement crap. Love them. And it is fair. You you could celebrate players from Canucks past without yeah. this mechanism. Uh, Daniel has a good one. Connor McDavid. Let's retire him now so he doesn't haunt the Vancouver Canucks. Ah, best for the defense rest is a good of offense. His career. Yes. And then Just Lou is retiring everybody. He says Myers, OEL, just to start. And then he followed up with Aquilini. 